Coach Mike McDermott, um, a happy man these days. Uh, not only does he get to play football this week, but we are playing a, a team that uh, is a, a good team, Shenandoah. Uh, they are coming off a loss uh, last week, but uh, I'm sure they're going to be uh, ready and loaded for bear this week against uh, Atlantic and want to play spoiler. Uh, no doubt. You know, Shenandoah is 3-2. and two. Uh, This is their homecoming week, so they're going to have a little bit of extra enthusiasm and, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, play just a little bit harder than probably normal. So uh, we're, we're going to have our work cut out for us. Yep. Uh, loaded for Bear, a long-time rival. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, series record is, but uh, here they are. Uh, and uh, But you're on a roll now. Uh, you have... Uh, uh, four wins in a row, I believe, after the season opening loss to uh, Underwood. And uh, uh, certainly last week was uh, something that you must have been really proud of. Yeah, you know, for the most part, we were, uh, you know, excited again on the road. That's just been the nature of the beast this year for us. But, um, you well, know, we still have some here. things to work on. But uh, overall, you know, pleased with, with our effort. Um, but we still, we, like I said, we still got a few things we can work on. Well, what, what things have pleased you the most? Uh, well, I think just our effort, you know, overall effort on the field, um, you know, our hustle. Uh, th those little things uh, make a big difference. Um, you know, the things that we can still work on, penalties. Um, you know, uh, we're, we're the type of team that we, we can't take a holding call or a personal foul and then put us in first and 25. We, we need to keep ahead of the chains. We need to be second and eight. You know, third and five, that's more manageable for us than mm -hmm. third and 15, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, uh, you know, the uh, passing game really came uh, uh, around last week. Uh, Garrett had, I believe, uh, three touchdowns to the air, and then he uh, ran one in and then uh, had an interception. So uh, scored every way um, uh, if he had in the field goal. Definitely, definitely. You know, Garrett uh, just continues to grow for us. And, and his big thing there is we don't ask him to do that every week for us. When he does, it's great. But, uh, you know, we just like him to get us in the right sets, get the right play executed, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, keep those chains moving. And, again, he had a number of different weapons. Uh, the main two uh, were the scores. But uh, just a lot of guys that had maybe two or three yards here and there that – uh, help keep a drive alive or help move the chains. Yeah, a lot of extra effort on, uh, you know, various plays where uh, maybe we probably are, are stopped short, but a guy who puts in a little bit extra effort and we get that first down, moves the chains, gets, gets us a set of new mm -hmm. downs. Those are the type of things that uh, we've been pleased with. Okay. But now, like I said, we have to uh, focus on a team that could be a spoiler, uh, Shenandoah. Um, like I said, uh, coming off a loss, uh, like you said, homecoming, uh, uh, they're going to be ready for bear. And uh, who, who can we look out for at, uh, with the Shenandoah group? Well, there's a number of guys. You know, um, Zane's Wickle is their quarterback. I think he has a great arm, and their coaching staff does a good job of, of putting them in positions to win. I think their offense is, is awesome. Um, as far as, you know, they use misdirection, they boot out of that stuff. They, they just constantly keep you guessing. Mm -hmm. And if your defense isn't disciplined, they're going to hurt you. Uh, Cotton is their running back. He does a nice job, kind of, a, kind of like uh, our guys. He's a little bit shorter, but uh, very effective running and setting up blocks behind his pulling guards. And then they have a nice sophomore and a uh, Blake Carroll kid who uh, can really do some damage out in the perimeter. He plays tight end. They'll split him out, get him the ball multiple ways. Uh, he, can, he can get up and catch the football. He's 6'3". Uh, going to put a lot of pressure on our back end. All right. And uh, what are you going to be uh, uh, stressing uh, this week in uh, practice to uh, uh, take on this, uh, those uh, threats? Well, this week is, just as you mentioned, is we're going to get their best effort. It's their homecoming. They want to play the spoiler. Uh, we have a chance here to set ourselves up is, uh, you know, what are we capable of doing and worrying about ourselves? Can we limit our penalties? Can we keep the chains moving? Can we uh, be disciplined enough to uh, get some three and outs on their offense? Yes, and, uh, you know, nothing's for certain, of course. And, uh, you know, obviously if you uh, get the win this week, uh, 
you know, things, uh, it'll be uh, time to play Red Oak. And, you know, we, we know that that's uh, um, what uh, Red Oak has, but uh, again, nothing for certain. Uh, but then you might uh, be looking forward to the uh, playoffs. But again, the play thing is, you're not looking ahead. Definitely not. You know, we've known, we, we've known since the beginning of the year that the playoffs are always going to be there. You know, whether we were 5-1 and one or 6-1 and one or 0-7, oh mm -hmm. uh, we were going to make the playoffs. Our goal this whole year is just continuing to get better so that when we do get to the playoffs, uh, we're playing our best football. All right. What are your uh, three uh, keys uh, toward uh, success in uh, the Shenandoah game? Well, I think it's offensively, you know, controlling the football, taking care of the football, limiting our turnovers. Uh, defensively, it's being disciplined and uh, reading our keys and our, our eyes in the right spot when they snap the football. And then uh, overall, just special teams-wise, we need to be effective. We need to, uh, you know, mm -hmm. gain field position. Things look pretty good against uh, in all three phases of the game uh, last week for the most part. And uh, we'll see if that carries over again. Yeah, we need to continue that, that's for sure. Mm -hmm.